Okay, YouTube, just a quick video today. Um, since on Prepping Life we are all about emergency preparedness, I just wanted to show a couple of items I have in my daily driver. This is an Anytone 778. Um, it's described as being uh, a 2 meter 77 2 meter 70 centimeter ham radio um, but it will also listen to and talk to <clears throat> FRS, GMRS it will listen to the National Weather Service um, it'll do a lot of things that I'm not licensed to do um, but it's, it's free to listen they can't fault you for listening um, and then over here, I have an Anytone, see if I can get it to focus here, um, 6666, yes, that's four sixes, not three. Um, I have them both scanning at the moment. Um, the microphone for the 778 actually is pretty cool. If I pull this around here, this microphone will do just about everything from the microphone that you can do on the front of the radio and on the Anytone Quad 6 it doesn't do all that but I can channel up and channel down just with buttons on the microphone um, this is very comfortable it doesn't get in my way like when I'm driving my leg doesn't even touch it I can hear them both um, yeah, so communications during an SHTF event could be extremely, appoint, uh, extremely important. If I could learn how to speak, that'd be great. Um, anyway, just a quick video for you guys, all in one take. Um, I love you all, and until next time, everybody, as always, be safe, have fun, and peace out. Um, also, be prepared, because that's pretty awesome, too. Later, everyone. Also, uh, a real quick postscript. Um, I'm pretty excited about all this. Um, sorry, a little bit of static in the background. Let me make that go away. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm not going to do tutorials or reviews on either of these radios. There's a ton of them already on YouTube. I'm not trying to beat you all to death with this. But comms are important. Um, it does require that I had to add two extra antennas to my car to be able to pull this off. Um, yeah, let's make that go away. Um, but yeah, uh, ham radio is important, not just... Like, like, I know people that are like, well, if stuff hits the fan, I don't need a license. Well, if you don't get the license first you're not going to know how to use the radio. Um, GMRS is a completely separate license, which I'm getting ready to get. Um, ham radio, you actually have to take tests for. Uh, GMRS, you send the FCC some money, they send you a license and your new call sign. Um, anyway, without further ado, I've had a bit of fun making this video and yes playing with my radios um, uh, the, the one that does the 2 meter and 70 centimeter is cool because I can do a lot of repeater stuff just googleize it it would be easier than me trying to explain it um, the, uh, the and the 2 meter 70 centimeter that is the the Anytone 778 UV. Um, UV just stands for ultra high frequency and very high frequency. Um, the Anytone Quad 6, um, that covers uh, the 11, no, well, I made mine to cover 11 meters. 11 meters is just Citizens Band. Um, but out of the box, out of the box, the Anytone AT Quad 6 covers 10 and 12 meters ham radio. 
and you can modify it. It's a pretty simple process. I'm not going to get into all that, and I'm not going to tell my ham buddies that I listen to 11 meters, because then I'll just be an appliance operator. Um, don't need any grief from them. Don't want it. They probably all own really loud CB radios or have modified their own radios to do it. Um, anyway, um, I always welcome questions, comments, things like that. Um, I mean, th those who know me know that I'm a pretty skilled mechanic, and that's one of my biggest prepping knowledge areas. Um, and amateur radio is another one of them. And we may delve more into that in the future. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, I'm getting kind of long-winded. So, anyway, again, I love you all. Thanks for playing along. Peace out, everybody.